Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in. Alessandro the Crypto here. I hope you're doing all fine. So welcome to another episode. Today we're gonna focus only on the Bitcoin price because the DXY and the traditional markets are not trading during weekends. So keep in mind that wherever we are going through the weekend, the price of the CME chart stopped at 10,575. So most likely on Monday, we're gonna retrace to this price level. So I'm expecting during the weekend, the usual price action, like a little pump and dump, something like that. But overall, most likely we're going to close again on Monday at 10,575. And now let's start here in the one hour time frame in the spot chart, because currently we are still trading sideways. Nothing has changed much since yesterday. This bullish divergence that we had here in the one hour time frame played already out and I already closed or better I got stopped out from my long position that I had here when we had here this uh, dip towards 10,470 and currently I have no more uh, positions opened and I'm waiting here for the next good trade opportunity. We have currently the RSI still here at the 50 level trading along the 20 moving average. I'm expecting here a possible push here towards the 200 moving average here at 10,000 $700. I think this is very likely to come and then retrace back on Monday towards this $10,500 level again. This is at least my expectation for this uh, weekend, but we can also stay in this area here for quite some time. And also if you have a look here into the Bollinger Band, you can see that we are trading sideways. We are right here in the middle line of 10,530. So based here in the Bollinger Band, we can stay between 10,500 and 10,580 through all the weekend, because this is the range of the one hour Bollinger Band. And in my opinion, this is a very realistic range for this weekend. I'm not expecting here a huge volatility, but if we go later into the daily time frame, you can see when we most likely gonna have a big break breakout out of this trading range which we are in right now. We have MACD and KSD still shifted to the upside, same also for the stochastic. So there is a chance that we maybe see a push here towards $10,700. I think this is very likely, but this is what we're gonna have to see. Trading on the weekend is always a bit risky. And here in the four hour time frame, you can see that also the RSI is now trading below the 50 level. So in theory, we are shifted to the downside since we broke out here from this uh, rising wedge. We are creating right now lower highs, but also higher lows, which in theory is bullish. But this is just because we are in this consolidation wedge here with the main resistance up here at $11,200 and the main support down here at around $10,100. We have all the moving averages currently above of us. So here between 10,600 up to 10,700. And that's why I think it is very likely that maybe during the weekend we are going to see such a retest here of this $10,700 before or maybe we're coming back down towards 10 five and if we have a look into the bollinger band here you can see that we are trading in the lower ends so on the bearish side so even though we could see a possible retest here of the midline of the bollinger band here at ten thousand seven hundred dollar in theory we could easily also drop again towards ten thousand four hundred dollar the bottom here of the bollinger band because we have also kst MACD shifted to the downside and also stochastic is here closer to oversold condition so as long as we are shifted to the downside here and trading on the bearish side i'm expecting expecting more bearish price action, even though there is still a high chance that we could go up here to test 10,700 first. And now let's have a look also into the daily time frame, because here you can see clearer the current support that we have here since May, since we broke out here from this $10,000, we never came below this trend line. So this green trend line is here since May and Bitcoin always came down here to retest the support here and then always bounced off from it. Also here, when we came down towards $9,800, we had here a healthy push to the upside and currently we're coming back down again. And currently the support is here exactly at 10,150. So if you see the price dropping below 10,150, then I think this could initiate a major drop at least towards this 9K area, which in my opinion is still 
very possible to get reached within the next couple of days or weeks and also test here the 200 daily moving average at 9450 and meanwhile also close the CME gap that we have at $9,600 and that's why as long as we are not seeing a clear breakout here to the downside so below 10,150 we will remain chopping around here between these two trend lines and only if we have a breakout above $11,200 then we could be in here for a major run to the upside and potentially test and also break this $12,500. But as long as we are within this wedge here, I'm expecting just pump and dumps here between these two trend lines before we're gonna see a clear breakout, which will tell us where we're gonna head to next. The problem currently is that we have the 20 and 50 daily moving average above of us so this is a huge resistance and in theory we could easily drop down here and test the 200 daily moving average before gearing up here for another big leg to the upside. We have also the RSI trading below the 50 level so in theory we are trading here on the bearish side and we should expect a continuation to the downside before bottoming out and then continue here our bull market. And also if you have a look into the Bollinger Band, you can see that we're trading on the bearish side. And also here in theory, we could go easily again to test again this $10,300. And the top currently is here at $11,100, where also our main resistance is lining up here. So I think even though we could see a push to the upside, as long as we're not breaking this $11,200, we should be still on our way towards 9 K. We have KST, MACD and also Stochastic quite flat here. Stochastic is now shifted to the downside and also MACD could have a bearish cross here pretty soon if we are not able to trade again above the 20 daily moving average, so above 10,700 in the next couple of days. And if we have a look also into the weekly time frame, you can see that we are again very close to the 20 weekly moving average. And the more we are testing this moving average, the weaker it gets. And that could signal a weekly close very soon below the 20 weekly. And that could also lead into a major sell off, at least towards our previous resistance, which now is a very important support here, exactly at around $9,000. RSI is still above the 50 level so that is still bullish here in the weekly and we're also going to have to see where we're going to close uh, this week's candle. As long as we're closing above $10,200 above the 20 weekly moving average everything is still good to go to the upside and we should still see some continuation to the upside in the next coming weeks and if you have a look into the Bollinger Band also here we're still trading between the two moving averages so between $10,200 and $11,000 as long as we are not having a weekly close above or below these two moving averages I think we are remaining within this trading range and if we're going to have a close below $10,200 in the weekly then I'm expecting a possible sell-off towards $8,200 because this is the bottom here of the Bollinger Band in the weekly so even though at 9k I'm expecting huge support in theory we could drop easily also towards $8,200 and if we're gonna have a close above $11,200 then watch out of course for our current top here at $12,500 stochastic is oversold currently so here we could expect a big bounce to the upside but we can also stay in this region for quite some time especially because MACD and KST are looking quite bearish in my opinion if we are not able to go again above 11,000 here we could see a bearish cross incoming and this could lead into a major sell-off at least towards 9 Okay, and don't forget that even though we could go down to those levels, we will still remain in our bull market, even though we could see such a correction, as long as we are creating now higher highs and higher lows, we will remain on our bull market. And that's why it's very important that we will not take out this low that we had over here at $3,800. So even if we would go down here to test the 200 weekly moving average at $7,000, we will remain with our higher lows and higher highs, which of course is very important for a bull market. So with that said guys, I'm gonna wrap it up for now. Don't forget that if you want to trade also Bitcoin and other assets up to 100x leverage, if you want to make as much possible gains, even with small amounts, you can trade here on Bybit, Femex, for example, here. Also, if you sign up with my links that you find down below here in the video description, you will get some sign up bonus as well. So definitely go and try it out. 
and also please follow my discord trading chat and also my channel over on twitch we have a great community over there so shout out to all the members and if you're new in crypto then make sure to sign up on coinbase or swissborg there you can easily buy some cryptos with your bank account you find all the sign up links down below here in the video description with my links you will get some free money so you can start immediately to buy for example bitcoin so thank you very much for watching my friends don't forget to subscribe and also moon up the likes we're gonna see us all in the next one have a great weekend bye